Hello, everyone. My name is Lorenzo Tardella, and I'm the writing director of the short film The Dependent Variables, which is playing in the Berlinale generation. Pietro. Ehi, hey, quarto piano, prima volta a destra. Hi and welcome to the 36th Teddy Award. My name is Jan Felix Wuttig and today I'm here uh, at our beautiful studio in Maya's Hotel and I'm sitting here with uh, director Lorenzo Tarella to talk about his beautiful short film The Dependent Variables. Hi Lorenzo, pleased to have you here. Hello. Thank you. Thank you for the invitation. My pleasure. <laughs> okay. Um, well, thank you, first of all, so much for the film. I, I found it as a very tender and very um, a, a film that has a lot of eye for the details, for the finer details. Um, on a sort of surface level, it's about two young boys sharing a kiss during a, a theater or, or concert performance. And they meet up later to sort of find that their expectations are not necessarily the same. Um, could you maybe tell us what your init initial idea was when you started conceiving the film? Well, actually, it started from a very personal memory. The theater scene is, some, is something that actually uh, just, ha happened to sorry, me. So one second. Start oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. sorry. We had a... Yeah, with the I, sound. See, Sorry. I see two me's. Well, anyway. Okay, uh, okay um, so it started from sharing a memory with my two uh, co-script writers, and it was the theater scene that you mentioned. So that, that first kiss between these two boys when there's the concert in front of them. And, you know, from that we started developing this story, which is a story about intimacy i think and and the first time you you, you deal with intimacy and how difficult it is the, the the first time that you have to face it you know mm -hmm. it's about that that moment in your life when you stop looking at yourself in the mirror and you start to to look into someone else's eyes and but you want to find yourself into the person in front of you that's very difficult and it's you know it's painful when it doesn't happen so that's what the film is about to me. True. Yeah, yeah. I think that's this um, the, that beautiful kind of prolonged scene in the theater when both kind of lay their heads, or one of them lays their heads on the on the sort of balcony, and uh, the other one looks at him. So that's that's basically what you, you what you speak about, right? That that sort of look into somebody else's eyes to to find your own sort of image or identity. That's yeah. exactly that. Yeah. you know l looking into somebody else's eyes through the camera you know and and after that there are other looks into the camera but but they're separate you know mm -hmm. For, after, after that first kiss you know the the two you know the two roads uh, are are separate in yes. a way they 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 can find themselves um again after yeah. that first kiss true yeah that's that's one interesting thought uh, actually uh, a couple of times during the film i had the idea that there was sort of this kind of tension built up through looks like into the camera itself um but i'll, I'll come back to that later um what what was it about that kind of sphere of the theater itself that interested you i mean there's this when they share the kiss um there's there's this crescendo of, of music building up is almost like the the two young boys become sort of operatic or theatrical themselves in a way was that intended uh yes actually we, we shot with the music uh on scene uh, I, I insisted a lot and all the sound department was against me but i, I wanted you know that tension on set uh, because I thought that that you know that that climax that you mentioned was um, was you know more realistic if you had the music even the, even uh, if uh, we we changed the music during the the editing process but there, there was the concert when we when we shot 
And, you know, it's a thriller scene, actually. Mm. I, I shot that as a, you know, as a thriller. It's like, a, you know, this tension that it's all yeah. about, you know, the single uh, gestures and looks, you know. And uh, it's very simple, actually, in the, in the, in the shootings. But there's, you know, this, this tension that you mentioned. I, I'm, I'm very glad that you, yeah. that you, that you felt it. You yeah. know, that's what yeah. we wanted. Yeah, it's it's. Simple, but it was but in the screenplay. You know, it was all in the screenplay. We were very uh, detailed in, in in the screenplay. Very meticulous. Yeah, yeah. I, I think that shows. I mean, it's it's a simple scene, but it's also very suspenseful, and it kind of draws as well from the from the youth of of the actors on screen. I, I kind of thought. I mean, this is um, you know what, um, this is not just kind of a of of. A portrayal of love, but it's also kind of a portrayal of love at a very young age. Um, could you tell me what what interested you in that specific topic? You know, I've I've always been um, fascinated sorry, we, by. We, we just have one problem with the sound again. Okay. Okay. Do you hear me? Okay, a little bit. Thomas, can we? Okay. Can you? Okay. 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 Uh, uh, so can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Um, so I forgot the question. Um, um, it was about um, what interests you specifically. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Um, I've always been fascinated by that moment of passage between childhood and and teenage. You know, mm -hmm. when you stop being a kid, but you are, you, but you are not a teenager. You know, completely. So it's it's a very you know complex moment in in a boy's life i think also in in, in a girl's life but you know to me mm. uh, i i was interested in from the male perspective and um you know it, it's a moment in a moment of life in which everything can change in a minute you know you you are like nothing you know and so you could be anything so i, I as a human being you know i've always been fascinated by that age which yeah. is very you know, it's a very small moment in life, which is like, you know, that 13 year old, uh, for, you know, but, but yeah, you know, uh, and then, you know, I'm not uh, interested, you know, in, in teenage, because I think the teenage is a, it's other stuff, you know, I, 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 I'm really interested in that passage. And I think that this film focuses very um, precisely on, on that passage, you know, with, with these two boys that you know they they have the same age but but they are very different in in terms of their you know identity and you know what they want and who they are yeah and i think it 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 um it sort of breaks into into a sort of discussion that you would otherwise maybe have in a sort of uh, in a film that discusses uh, teenage romance because there's this moment I mean, not necessarily teenage romance, but there's this moment where kind of that, that you know, seeing what there is uh, turns into something maybe slightly sexual, you know, with, with the way they, they touch in the scene later on. Um, yes, yeah. yes, you know, it's, it, it's all about that. It's, it's like, you know, being in, in different steps of, of growing up, you know, there's a character, the, the lead one, which we think it's, it's, it's more grown up. It's more, you know, prepared for the, you know, how can we say, you know, the, that sexual awakening that, that the film is about. But, uh, but at the end, you know, you have seen it. At the end, everything changes. So the, the person that seemed the more grown up actually reveals as the, the more, childish yeah. you know yeah. and um you know but but this is what that age is about to me you know it's about the this tension between you know you know i want to you know to remain a kid but also i want a child but also i want to you know to grow up and to explore and to learn new things yeah. you know but it's it's a complete it's a you know it's a it's a complete contradiction yes I found it incredibly well done because you can never kind of decide who is sort of like, you know, more the sort of the elder brother and who is sort of more immature because it, it, it changes all the time. You you would think that, you know, like one is perhaps more the sort of the, the, the quiet type, the artist, the other one is more outgoing, but then it kind of turns and 
and and uh, you're not so sure anymore. <laughs> um, and I, I am not. I'm not that sure. You know, I filmed something, I shot something, but then during the editing process, you know, uh, it, everything changed. You know, I, I'm still think I'm still discovering those yeah. those characters. Yes. Um, and I found out that um, the, basically you have, uh, in a way, you have two big scenes in which the both of them come together. And I found there's certain similarities between those scenes in the way that you have some kind of focus point of attention that is outside of the frame, which would in, in one sense be kind of the, the theater or, or a concert scene, and the other, it's, it's, it's the video game. Um, what was the idea behind that? You know, the film, as, as you said, it's divided in, in two parts, which they are actually two scenes. And, you know, I, I wanted to, to film them not in the same way because they're not in the same, but they're very similar. So I want, you know, to, you know, in the second part to, to recognize the, the, the first half, but then, you know, there are small differences that, that made you think that you know that it's not you know it's not going to happen th the same thing that you that you saw in the first part you yeah. know and and the fact that you know uh, to be honest with you that the theater is not something that i wanted mm. you know it's it's because of the fact that i couldn't shot in a in a you know the, the real concert the real performance okay. so yeah. you know i had to uh, to to avoid that but you know with with the video game you know, I thought that it wasn't important. You know, I wanted to stay focused on them yeah. and, and, and to see them, you know, like through a microscope. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's, you know, it's all, it's all about, you know, the sound. And, you know, uh, I just tried with the sound to, you know, to, to, to be immersive mm -hmm. with the Vivaldi score and then with the, with the video game. But, yeah. you know, visually, I wanted to stay, you know, close and close to them. Um, yeah. very very close maybe maybe too close you know but um i just wanted to be you know to to feel that that the tension you know that 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 fear that i um yeah that i that i that i remember you know about those moments uh and it, it was all about recreating you know yeah. those feelings yeah and this is this very um tense kind of scene i felt in the second scene where uh, one of them kind of turns to the video game and he's playing the video game and the, the camera is sort of, he, he is looking basically into the camera and you feel, I don't know, you, you feel this, this build up of tension, but maybe also a kind of attention that, that he's not giving the other boy, he's kind of giving it to the video game. Um, what was the thought behind that? You know, it's, it's what, it's that, like you said, you know, it was like, you know, uh, not finding, you know, not, it, what, you know, the, the whole film, it's about a misunderstanding, you know, we can say that it's about, uh, you know, I, the, the leading character has thought something that, that something could happen. And then, you know, he's, he faces, you know, that the reality, which is different from what he had, um, he has thought, you know, in, in the theater scene. And, and also, I think that it's interesting the fact that, you know, that the first part, it's like public, you mm -hmm. know, it, the first kiss, it's public, you know, it's in front, actually, to two other kids and in front of an audience. And the other one, it's, it's private, you know, it's just like it's you and, and the person mm -hmm. in front of you. But in fact, it reveals to be the, the, the scariest one and the most difficult one. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I don't know what to say about that, that, that. You know that moment that you mentioned because it was exactly w what you said it was you know he's looking into the video game is not looking to to, yeah. to the kid uh, next to him and you know but after that you know he comes out of the video games and he um you know and and they recreate the same situation in the theater yeah. you know with a different outcome yeah yeah, exactly. I found it also in, in the first scene, there's this uh, very nice kind of movement from, you know, as you, as you said, like a, an open public space into a sort of more and more intimate environment. So basically, you open up with this scene of, of kids running around and, and their teachers kind of shouting and then it goes 
into that smaller uh, spectator's room and then it kind of closes in on the two boys themselves. Found that was what is very, very nicely done. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Um, um, yeah, it was like it was like zooming in, you know, starting from the, you know, the the the, the whole situation. You know, I found very interesting. Uh, you know, a group of teenage teenagers inside a the, the theater. You know, the contrast between you know those ages, you know, and that that smell and that confusion and all this classical stuff around. I, I found it was interesting, mm -hmm. but after that, you know, it was just the the, the two the two guys yeah, you know the, yeah. the, the, my interest was in focusing on them and and you know and that tension yes and that that kind of um the two of them i mean i i imagine it it must be kind of difficult as well to you know establish scenes of intimacy with such young actors um <laughs> did, did you find it easy or was it um how, how did you approach that that subject it wasn't easy at all uh, because first of all, we uh, during the casting, uh, the, the first decision that we made with the, with the casting directors was that we had to find two actors, you know, not not two kids, you know, that that didn't have uh, previous um, acting experience because I thought that they needed to have like a filter, you know, between who they are and, and who they are, you know, portraying, that was very important because as you can imagine that, that you know, those years in everybody's life are very complicated, you know, that everyone is very, you know, shy about their sexuality and those, those stuff. Yeah. Um, but, you know, after finding them, you know, we did a lot of rehearsals, a lot of exercises, um, not about the screenplay, you know, we didn't discuss a lot about the screenplay and the scenes. It was, you know, mostly about finding a chemistry between, between the two. And, and we did a lot of exercises which were about, you know, looking and, and touching, you know, a, a lot of stuff that I had a teacher at school who mm -hmm. um, helped me a lot. And we had fun, you know, we had fun. And then on set, you know, it was like, you know, doing you know, in uh, those scenes in, in repetition, like do it again, do it yeah. again, do it again. <laughs> I, I really stress them a lot. Yeah. Um, we shot with, with two cameras, which was very helpful, you know, yeah. because I had the, um, the opportunity to, to sort of like, you know, watching them um, in, in contemporary. So I, I started to, to edit the film when I was on set. And, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, you know, it was like, you know, doing a lot of, of preparation as, yeah. as always you know the, the 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 film starts when you when you when you when you do the rehearsal when you find the actors actually that, yeah. that was yeah. the most important part of it true yeah um i mean concerning the screenplay part of it or writing the screenplay um did you have different ideas in the beginning were there scenes that you wanted to include at first but couldn't use or that you had to throw out no, to be honest, no. It was a very um, normal journey. We had this wonderful uh, supervisor called Francesca Manieri. Uh, she is the screenwriter of We Are Who We Are by Luca Guadagnino. Mm -hmm. um, and she helped us a lot in, as I said, in, in writing every single detailed yeah. Uh, detail you know about you know every every gesture every look it was 18 pages of screenplay and you know as as you can imagine there are no, there's not a big plot yeah. but everything everything was written you know because wow. every um, every contrast every you know every turning point was in in the single gestures but i uh, you know i i think i was very um close to the screenplay you know the, the all everything i shot it's you know, it's it's in the film. Uh, you know, uh, we did. You know, uh, at the beginning it was longer. You know, as always, then you always um, cut small pieces. But you know, in general, it's everything I shot. It's in the film. Yeah. Okay. And um, <clears throat> I mean, considering that this is a topic that has, as you said, been been close to your heart for a while, and um, 
Could you imagine revisiting that topic or is there certain things that you learned making this film um, that you can take from it and go like, okay, I've, I've done that now, now I'm going to turn to a different topic or maybe I'm going to revisit it but in a, in a different way? But, uh, you know, um, I've always shot short films um, but now I'm right now I'm currently writing my first feature and you know I cannot say that it starts from that it's the longer version of this short but um, it deals I think with the same uh, topics you know uh, f with the same um, age um, first of all and so with this with the same problems and so you know, I think I, I can explore it in a in a more complex way. You know, when you when you have a short film, you have to deal with it, with it, with a small amount of time, most mostly in in real time. And uh, you know, but I, I think you know that there are many other things to say. You know, I, I still think that you know that we said not that much about these two characters. So um, I I still want to explore them them better. Yeah. Yeah, I think so too. It's I think it's a very kind of rich and and giving topic that you can explore in any number of ways and in any number of films basically. Well, but I think your movie as it is is already a very rich exploration of that topic and I as I said, I enjoyed it a lot. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs>